Not kind of, sort of. Going with traffic. Yes. Go. Why are we walking on the road when this was somebody? I don't know. I We got way far back from everybody else. How did that happen? I don't know. Are we crossing again? I guess we are. Um, there's a truck. Be careful. Don't want any accidents. I guess we. Around here in Louisville are crazy. And truck and cars both way. <laughs> Maybe we I guess we could have just be careful, babies. Here we go. Hey, this is 21. <laughs> You've been to 21 shows? This is my 16th. Not this four, this is my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my 16th. Oh. Oh. Like snake a my mom's 30 oh, oh, there you go. Uh oh. <laughs> currently, it, currently, it, currently, it runs in the family. Yeah, a little bit. Now, my mom's been doing like four girls. Yeah, my mom always gets home. My mom has her girl TV and her TV player, and when her heart's got like six of them, and all that. Okay. Like, yes, mom. We're walking for our mom, Brenda. We're triggered, guys. We're going to get a few. Yeah. Ready? Get through the grass. Through the grass. Through the grass. Let's be honest. If you're feeling delirious, I just say go with it. Just go with it. Just kind of Don't try to make sentences that make sense to anybody else. Just go with straight to gibberish, right? There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we're going to be in Baston. Um, okay, we can make fun of each other later. <laughs> Thank you guys for walking with us today. Um, this walk is, uh, for one, it's viewed by you guys, clearly. Otherwise, it would be a lonely journey down the road. Just three guys are like, there they are again. <laughs> Um, you know, we, we there's not, it's not as if 
because there's not issues in the in the United States. There's so many needs. There's so many people struggling. There's always going to be um, causes worth uh, walking for. Um, and what you guys choose to turn your life into, what you choose to put your effort towards, that's your choice. But for this, um, we're speaking about something that we felt convicted about and something that we feel like, as a generation of people, um, we should make our problem. Um, and the, the, the main the crux of the issue is that there's those just like us struggling to just get to eat, um, to get to have an opportunity at life. And um, we don't have to talk about Africa. Uh, we don't have to talk about people uh, that need our help, you know, because we've all got busy jobs and lives and, uh, you know, it's hot outside. And uh, so this is not an obligation. There's to walk through bare feet. There's to walk through bare feet. Our, our feet are definitely gross right now. <laughs> um, but this is where um, the line in the sand gets drawn and uh, the leaders step across the line. And you guys are those. Um, you stepped across the line and you're charging ahead and you're right by us, which means you're crazy. Um, in the best kind of way. I mean, come on, let's be serious here. We're all awesome. right, You guys, I mean, collectively. Uh, we, um, the walk is about looking at the simple things that we forget about. And when you look at a, a, a young uh, boy or girl and you sit in Soweto um, and you look at their bare feet and you see they look like the bottom of an 80-year-old man's feet because they walk five or six miles every day just to get to school maybe it's to get food or water for their family. Um, they look just like my kids, um, you know, that are, have the responsibility of an adult um, and maybe have over, hanging over their heads that they were born with AIDS. Um, maybe it's a, a community where they don't have access to the most basic tools to get educated. Um, but the reason I'm inspired by what you guys have done with us over the last few years is the fact that each of us have to decide to show up. And we've seen people like you guys all over the country, all over the world, organize just like this with college groups, with youth groups, with friends, with sports teams, um, and put their feet to work. And realize that what we're really doing is talking about partnering with our friends um, that are struggling halfway around the world. And you guys, you know, made me feel like this is a demonstration um, here in uh, on a hot day in Louisville. Did I say it right? Sort of. Yeah. Um, but really, what you're doing is you're reaching out across the world to somebody that needs your help, and you're saying, "Hey, I'm here." Um, and we've seen shoes really get put on kids' feet by people like you guys that bought pump shoes or gave money through the walks. We've seen the results of uh, clean water um, getting provided or medicine for young women that need access to it. Um, real things happen because uh, you guys decide to show up. So um, when we're rocking out tonight and we're screaming along lungs out and we're having a good time, um, just know that you guys didn't just come to see Hanson. You guys reached across an ocean and did something for somebody um, because you were the ones, you were the leaders, you were the ones that stepped across the, the line in the sand. And um, it's badass, to be honest. Woo! It's just badass, man. Right? <laughs> um, and you guys inspire us to do it again because tomorrow we'll do it again. And some of you will be doing it with us. Anybody here in Nashville? I never feel like I'm in Nashville, yeah. Um, so thank you guys for walking. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being the few. Um, thank you for being the ones that um, are willing to jump out there with us. And um, thanks for being the ones that will continue to inspire uh, this walk to continue. Um, thank you guys so much. Woo! One quick reminder before we continue, if you guys have not already registered your walk, make sure that before the walk, before you you know, disband, go to your car, do whatever you're going to do for the rest of the day. Make sure to get this card get, uh, and, and fill it out. Give us your name and an email address and mark the call.